Disguising your excuses with criticism. Let me repeat that again. Disguising your excuses with criticism. Exactly. What does that mean? It sounds confusing because excuses make excuses. But this is how it goes. Okay. So you're in a discussion. You know there's things you need to do. But someone kind of calls you out on it. Or they show you how you should do something. And you know deep down inside you're doing things the right way. You see the results in their life. But you just can't come to admitting that your way is not the right way. And so you have to find a way to get out of that and make excuses. So you do so by criticizing. Criticizing their way of not being right or their way doesn't work or, you know, prove it. Like just criticizing the person who's getting the results because you want to make excuses to get out of doing the thing that you know you need to do, that you should do, that will give you the result <laughs> that you're wanting, right? But for some reason, when we see someone else doing something that we know we should be doing, and they're doing it good, we want to criticize them. Because that's easier to say than to make excuses. Well, I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. You know, it, that, empo that empowers you, right? Because then it makes you feel less than, maybe smaller than the person. And it shouldn't be that way. If there's someone in front of you who has the answer, the solution to your problem, is doing it and it's they're getting results, why not take from them? Why not learn from them? You know, and, and just humble yourself. Let go of the pride and say, you know what, you're right. Your way is the right way. You know, show me how. What do I got to do? sign me up whatever that is you know i see you're doing it you're creating getting the results that i want you know you're living a good life you look good you're healthy fit whatever it is you're making the money you know your your family life looks good you're happy all the time like what is that i want what you have but instead of asking people we want to just kind of criticize and judge them like well they're just lucky they were born like that you know they're born with that body oh they just got lucky they found that woman or or that husband or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever you know oh they're lucky they make that they make that much money they got that job that career that lifestyle it's not luck you guys it's hard work so when we can become aware and admit to ourselves what we're doing is not working and we see what other people have that we want and we know what we want when we see other people because we feel that jealous we feel like Oh, wow, look at their life, you know, good or bad. Like, oh, you know, that's cool. You know, for me, I don't look at people with envious or jealous. I look at like, wow, God bless them. Like, what do they do to get where they are in life? You know, because I know it takes hard work. See, we only see the what's happening now in someone's life. We see the good results. We don't see the hard work that maybe somebody did, you know. So we, we tend to criticize and judge them. Well, Good for them you know maybe it's meant for them not for me you know and it was that's the wrong attitude to have because we all came out into this world the same way out of our mother's womb we didn't know how to read write talk walk we didn't know those things we had to learn those things so because someone has what you what you want and they already have it doesn't mean that you can't have it and not to be you know judgmental of them or criticize them learn from them they're just in a different chapter than you are. That's all. But they were exactly where you were, starting from the beginning, scratching their head, how do I do this? I don't know what to do. And they either invested in themselves, into coaches, training, school, education, whatever that is, so they can learn, so they can grow and accomplish the things they want to accomplish in life and have the things they want to have in life. So we need to humble ourselves, appreciate what we have in the moment, appreciate others and what they have, and learn from others, and not critique and criticize and judge others and be envious or jealous of others, but to be humble, take a step back, and see what they're doing or how they're doing. Reach out to them. If it's family or friends, you know, listen. You know, I know especially sometimes too, if you're older and someone who's younger than you is giving you advice or showing you how to do something and you're like, oh no, no, I know how to do it. I'm good, I'm good. 
it, it's our pride that keeps us stuck from learning, from making change, from, from adapting and evolving because we're set in our old ways. And I get that, you know, I'm 47 years young and you know, what's the saying? It's, it's hard to teach old dog new tricks, but we can learn a new way of being, a new way of doing, maybe an easier way of achieving our goals and living a happier, more simple life. And so that's what I'm here for as a coach to help you to make you come, become aware of the things in your life that don't serve you. You know, the ego that keeps you stuck, your pride that keeps you stuck, you know, maybe your age or limiting beliefs that keep you stuck, the fear that keeps you stuck, all the excuses that you make that keep you stuck from getting to where you want to get to. Maybe you talk a big talk, but you don't walk the big walk. So it takes action, my love, and it can be scary. You know, we are, we get comfortable where we are in life. You know, action is work. Oh my goodness, I got to do some work. I got to sweat. Yes, wherever you are in life, you have to do some work to get where you are. So remember that, you know, even when you look at other people who have a little more than you, look and appreciate where you are in life and how you got to where you are. And you know, you have to step out of your comfort zone to get to where you are. You have to go to school or training or learn a skill or trade to get to where you are in life. So think of all the hard work you have to do to get to where you are. So if you're feeling stuck and stagnant, then you got to look, what could I do next? What do I need to learn? What do I need to take on? How can I adapt or evolve to take the next step to grow and to, to grow beyond and maybe to attain more? So it, it's steps, it's process, it's, it's a way of thinking, it's mindset, it's recognizing all the excuses that you make, the criticism, the judgments that you make to others, who maybe have what you want or live in the lifestyle that you want and you're making the excuses um, why you can't have what they have because you are good enough you're worthy you matter you could have what they have too but you got to put in the work and maybe ask for the help and direction and guidance on how you can get there quicker versus doing it yourself exactly how about you i've done things for myself for years and you just keep you get lost, you get stuck. So I've even paid for a coach. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars for coaches and training and schooling to help me get to the next level in my life. So if you need any help or encouragement, support, accountability, reach out to me, I'm your girl, and hopefully you're the right fit or I'm the right fit for you. And if it's not me, somebody else. I always have to say, who is that person that you admire? Who is that person that you say, wow, look at them? I want to be like them. I want to have what they have. Look into them, follow them, read their books. If they have books, study their life. If they have any courses or, or courses or coaching, dive into that. So then you can learn exactly how they got to where they are in life. Amen. Yes, my love. So that's what I have for you today for our weekly talk, um, disguising excuses with criticism. Yes, I hope you enjoy that talk.